Okay, so this is the charger. There you go. You see, I'm turning it on. Green light, all good. Coming down to the scooter. As you can see, I've got a few other scooters here. So line it up. Uh, let me see. That's it. Push it in. Do it up. You see, that's in nice and, and good. Go back up to the charger. And we're still on green. There we go. So the power, I can turn it on for you. See, nothing. Turn it off. Unscrew this. Pull it out. Charge is still on green. Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to RC Shed. Uh, yet again, it's not uh, RC related, but it is scooter related. And for all of you that tune and subscribe to my channel, you know I do all sorts. And the other one of my favorites are these scooters. So the, the idea of this video today, as you can see from the intro, is I tried to charge this. I've got this Kaboom Mantis uh, 8, and I was trying to charge it. And so I plugged it in as normal, blah, 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 and then left it, went back a few hours later, and it was still on two bars. So I just thought, oh, perhaps I didn't, you know, perhaps I didn't plug it in or whatever, or I didn't turn it on. Uh, so did it again, but I left it overnight this time. Came back in the morning, and it was like, wow, it's still not charged. But the actual charger, which is here, as you can see, was actually showing a green light. And basically... Uh, the short and curlies are what it is. If your scooter is charging, uh, the green light should go red straight away. That means it's charging. If it doesn't, if it's plugged in and plugged into the scooter and it stays green, that should mean that your battery is actually full. But if you have a problem, like I did, and it wasn't charging, it's like, where do you go to find out why? So I did, I bought this uh, Mantis from the UK. Uh, so basically I, I found uh, Cabo UK, said to them to the issue that where it was, told them, they told me to try all different things, settings, this, that and the other, and none of it worked, blah, blah, blah. And then they said to me to actually send it back. Now this thing weighs about 25 kilos, probably more. And for me to send it back to the UK, was going to cost a fortune because although Cabo will cover the warranty on the work they've got a one-year warranty they wouldn't cover the postage which is kind of a bit ridiculous because these things cost a bloody they weigh a fortune and they've got a dirty big battery in the middle so not many uh, delivery companies will touch them so i decided to take it upon myself to have a look and i did a bit of homework and basically i uh I'm going to show you today exactly what I did. I've actually fixed the problem, but this is going to be a tutorial video and to show you that anybody who's got this uh, one of these scooters, uh, how you can do it to resolve this problem. So keep tuned and enjoy the video and uh, any questions along the way, fire them at me. So, okay, the first thing we've got to do is remove this uh, rubber. You don't need to remove all of it, uh, I just removed the side bits. I left the middle in and basically removed the side on there. Now below here, hopefully you can see this. I will move the camera in and do a, a close up for you. So you've got this tape here, which actually covers the screws. What you need to do is just gently take that off and put it somewhere that you can actually easily take it off. And if by magic, I'll stick it onto my uh, BMW S1000. So, same again with the other side, like so, because I, I want to reuse this, so, you know. And then, so basically, you will see you've got all of these screws on here. I think there's how many, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10 screws. So all we need to do is undo them and take them out. 
Now, what I'm showing you now is how I fixed my scooter. It doesn't necessarily mean that yours is the same problem. But when you get a green light like that, what it means is, is that your battery is not taking charge. Uh, so hence, this fix will actually uh, sort that. Now, what I've actually done on it is, hold on, just get that properly. So I'll probably fast forward this when they're video, putting the video out there. So, and coming up to the last one. Now obviously you need to make sure that the scooter is off, like so. Okay, now what you will find, let me just get a screwdriver. Okay, so uh, it's still actually uh, slotted in there quite nicely. So I just get a little flathead screwdriver like that and just gently in the gap, prising it up. You don't want to dent it and you'll feel it just pop up like so. There you go. Okay, put that to one side nice and safely. Now I'm going to take the camera because I want to try and show you what I'm actually talking about. So what you will find inside here is a whole host of, of cables, your battery uh, terminals, this, that and the other. What you're actually looking for is a red cable and here if you, if you can see so here is that red cable now we're not going to touch any other cable just this red one now in here is a, uh, a fuse now basically what happens if you get a surge of electricity turn it back around again can we see me here? if you get a surge of electricity or you get like a power cut or something like that and it's plugged in what can happen is that fuse actually uh breaks and that's the idea to actually save you know any damage going on to the the main battery so what i actually discovered i unopen that let me show you i'll just put the camera back down again so what you do just basically unscrew it that screws up like so just twist it up like so and then in there, I've done something different. You will find a five amp fuse. Now basically, uh, with this five amp fuse, that is a real circuit breaker, really. If anything, like I said, you get a power cut or something like that. That is what you need to replace. But because it's such a five amp, it's only a tiny, tiny, tiny fuse. What I actually decided to do is I actually bypassed this. Now, the way that I bypassed it, uh, is I got the two wires. So basically, I, I got the two wires and I actually cut the connections and I actually joined them, put a little bit of solder to join the red to the red, like so. Now, what that does, that actually makes a just a straight line, it emits the fuse so that any chance of uh, that fuse blowing again for some reason whatsoever. Uh, this is just a straight wire. So, but basically I did that because the chargers, they they only charge at one rate. There's no way that it can be uh, overcharged or over -volted. So basically that, uh, I feel uh, that you don't really need that fuse in there. If you're, uh, over paranoid and you want to keep that fuse in fine just just swap out the fuse but for me i don't want to be taking the scooter apart every time i have an issue with the charger so all i'm going to do is i'm going to hardwire it and emit that fuse totally now basically as i said that won't do any any harm to the scooter uh, because it's it's charged through a charger and which is always the constant uh constant charge rate you're not going to have the there's no excess of power going through there so you don't need the fuse uh, from my point of view. I'm not an electrician, but I've worked a lot on scooters and this, that, and the other. And if it was different, if you were going through an actual charger that you had to set the volt limiters and this, that, and the other, oh well, I totally understand that the fuse needs to be in there. But because it's it's been charged at a set current, 
it won't it, you can't overload it so so that's what I did so basically uh, I took out the fuse uh, soldered the two uh, cables together and then just re rejoin can we see that yeah and then just basically re screw in that like so okay like so nice and tight and then basically just nicely oh can you got me there sorry tuck it all nice and neatly back in there so it's all nice and tidy there you go so the same again uh we've hardwired the fuse uh, or we bypass the fuse, should I say. Everything's been tucked back. Everything has been sealed properly. It's soldered. It's been shrink wrapped, so there's no way of any wires being crossed or shorted on anything else. Uh, and now the simple thing is, is to reverse the process what you did again by taking your scooter plate and just nicely slot back in there like so. Like so. And then reversing the process all of your screws back in again And there you have it, a real quick, simple uh, fix for the problem which I had. Uh, as you can see in the little wintering video that I sent to uh, Kaboo, you can see that it was charging, or I tried to charge it and the charger just stayed on green. Uh, lots of people said, oh, it's your charger, there's a problem. And I was like, no, because I charged my other scooters and stuff with it and there's not a problem with it. So hence, uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, as I said, there's no videos on YouTube about changing that fuse. So this is really out there just to put it because I think it's quite a known fact that, that once that fuse goes, it confuses a lot of people. So hopefully uh, I should all check that before you actually uh, send your caboose back to the UK. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Any questions, anything you want to know, whether it be related to RC, uh, e-bikes, scooters, Far away, that's what I'm here for, guys. And uh, yeah, keep tuned, keep enjoying the videos, and I'll catch you on another video.